there you beautiful earth signs. I hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you for joining me for another weekly reading. So if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, these are your messages. Now I want to give a quick shout out to Cindy from Soul Print Intuitive Tarot. Thank you so much for the fantastic shout out the other day and I love supporting other Canadian intuitives. So thank you so, so much. Thank you to all of my subscribers and thank you all the new subscribers that have shown up recently. I am so glad that you're here. Now, friends, I think it's time to do another love reading. Love check-in time, right? Everybody loves love check-in time. So, let's pull, whoa, okay. So I don't even have to pull a card because it literally just jumps right out. Ooh, ooh, earth signs, unrequited love. Oh no, oh no. Okay, now this says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Ooh, earth signs. Now. That doesn't necessarily mean that things are horrible, horrible. If you are in a relationship right now, then this could mean that we need to either spice things up or we need to approach things in a different way. But if you are single or maybe almost single, sin, single then this means that maybe you're about to have some changes show up in your relationship. I just shuffled these and these came out as well. Damn, these are for you, Earth signs. You can't make this up, right? No. So the two that just splatted out in front of the table, deception, uh-oh. And it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and for double duty, yikes, pay attention to the red flags. Oh no, earth signs. The signs are cautioning you, ooh shoot. All right, so this is definitely either time for you to leave a situation that is no longer working or time for you to be honest with yourself about what you are operating with in this relationship. Okay, let's, let's look deeper. Let's look deeper here, okay? So, woo, earth signs. Love check-in time, no kidding, huh? Woo, all right, earth signs, please. Let's look at the energy between you and your other person and the energies between you guys in the past, present, and future. Hopefully, we can provide some guidance and some advice here on how to get through this because it seems like you're maybe not in a happy situation right now. Okay, earth signs, please. Let's see our earth signs energy and the energy of their person and how we are working things out. Earth signs, earth signs here. This is where we start. All right. See it already. Rebirth in the middle of your spread. Oh, damn, all right. Let me take a look at this here. Earth signs. Okay, earth signs. So, the good news is, for the most part, this is not your energy, meaning deception. Pay attention to the red flags. It's not the energy coming from you. It very well might be your partner, okay? I'm seeing it here, but let's go through this so you understand exactly what we're talking about. Your energy in the past, when it comes to this person here, I've got eagle in communication. This is telling me a couple of things. Number one, for you earth signs, some of you have maybe gone through relationships in the past and now as a result, you know what you want and you know what you don't want. So when you started this relationship, you were very clear in your communication about what you wanted, what you expected, what your goals were, etc. right? You laid it all down on the line to be honest with the person that you're with so that you know, should I move forward? And you don't want to hold anything up. This is also telling me for some of you that you have had a spiritual awakening and you are also, let's just say making the decisions that are in your best good with regards to relationships, okay? Let's just leave it there. Now, the energy of your person in the past, ceremony and invocation. Now, this tells me for your person that they very well might have seen you way back when and gone, ooh, look at that earth sign, yeah, right? And I feel that possibly they were the one that was pushing for more in the relationship than you were. Maybe you were just a little bit more reserved and taking it step by step, but this person was like, no, let's do it, let's go, let's hit it right and I feel as well though that this person does have some changes that they either need to make I feel that it's possible that this person could be going to repeated patterns of a relationship and some changes are required because I think that not everything was working for them 
with this ceremony and invocation card, not only does this tell me that this person has initiated or again, maybe they were the aggressor in the relationship, maybe not the best word, but I think you know what I'm saying. But I also have the snake showing up here. Now for me, the snake doesn't always mean nasty, yucky, bad person. This is what's telling me this person is going through a repeated pattern because changes are required here. It looks to me that they're starting a pattern that they're used to starting and maybe not changing, but they know that they should, okay? I have cave and sanctuary is the energy between you in the past. What this tells me is that for you, earth signs, you were kind of like, mm, you know how I said at the beginning, you're like taking it slow, one step at a time, let's be clear on what we want and what, we, what we're going after. This tells me that you're actually in a good place where you're not looking to rush into anything, that you have been spending some time by yourself, you probably had some space between you and your past partner or whatever past relationship was going on, and you're okay with being by yourself. But this also means for me that you're willing to entertain new offers if it's something that floats your boat. Okay, now current situation for you, earth signs, I feel like you're feeling a little stressed. Okay, I've got forest and breath. This card says two things to me. Number one, right? Take a deep breath, calming energy, not flying off the handle, not making assumptions, making sure that we are calm and we're in a good place, just like this eagle in communication, so that we're clear and calm and discerning and that our partners understand that what, what we want and what we're communicating. This is also telling me that I think that you're getting clouded in your head sometimes between the emotional stuff and the logical stuff and then it's kind of getting all intertwined and it makes it difficult for you to make an informed decision or to feel solid about where you're headed with this relationship. Now, your person. You know how I said, like, I feel like there's some repeated patterns coming up here? Ancestors and generations. And that's exactly what this card implies. See the hands and see the snake again? repeated snake, okay? Again, doesn't mean they're a bad person, but are there changes required, right? And this is telling me that your person comes by their patterns honestly. So what that could mean in a relationship perspective is, for example, maybe this person's parents uh, split up when they were young, and so they have a very good understanding that not all relationships stick together and that if they came from a household where relationships were unstable, that this is kind of the norm for them. and with this card as well, there's also a tone of karma. And a lot of the stuff that's going on right now is people cutting their own karmic ties and even karmic ties of trauma that has been passed down and patterns that have been passed down through family, hand to hand to hand, right? So this is telling me this person really needs to look at, they are understanding that some of their past stuff is coming up and maybe they're going into these repeated cycles themselves. And I am not so sure that this person is making the changes that they need to make. I'm really not sure, okay? And I have the energy between you guys is spring equinox and rebirth, okay? So beautiful card, and it's really sitting right in between and telling you guys exactly what needs to happen. Everybody needs to change just a little bit in order for us to move forward and create a new chapter where we can all can grow and create something new, right? So for you in the future, earth signs, kind of love this because it's a very earthy card, stone people in vigilance. Now what this card is telling me right now that you are connecting with your earthly nature, you are discerning, you are looking at the facts, you are trying to make a list and cross your T's and dot your I's and all that kind of stuff where this relationship is concerned. Also makes me feel like you have been observing this relationship for quite some time. And even though you haven't been quite happy with everything that has been going on, you've been biting your tongue a little bit, but now things are coming up to a head and you feel like, you know what, I'm gonna have to say something or take action sooner than later because I'm not happy with what I see coming down the line. Now, your partner in the future, wind and activation, okay? Now, isn't it interesting that we have two initiation type cards, one in the beginning and one in the end, right? So this person invocating or starting something or, you know, trying to initiate something. And then at the end, wind and activation, same kind of thing. And considering we have ancestors and generations right in the middle, again, that patterning, I feel that moving forward with this person, I don't think that they're going to make the changes that they need to make in their best good. And I feel that if pushed, this person is going to say, well, to hell with it, you know, not try to ask you how you feel about this or consider how could they change things in their way or compromise and meet you part way. I have the feeling this person's going to be like, well, you don't like it, then I'm out. And so are you. And the energy in between you guys in the future, boom. 
volcano and volatility yikes friends okay so what this is really telling me, and this is a really important card, especially when it comes to your partner. And the reason why, it might be hard to see in this card, I get it, but if you notice here, obviously here's the volcano, and out of the volcano, you see the two faces kissing? There's one face here, and there's one here behind this person, okay? What this card speaks to is repeated patterns in a relationship of either having explosions and then people forgive each other and the dust falls, you know, like the dust settles after an argument, but nobody really makes any changes. And as a result, it's only a matter of time before it all comes up to a head again and we have an explosion again. Earth signs, I feel like you're going into a pattern with this person. I feel like you are starting to see the I don't know, the writing on the wall. Things are starting to feel a little yucky and I have the feeling that you might be moving forward here, okay? Again, unrequited love, you can't make this up, right? Deception, pay attention to the red flags. If this person is doing the same thing over and over and not changing and it's getting awkward, then it might be time for you to say goodbye, Earth signs. I'm sorry, it's not really a nice message, but my friends, you know I will always give you messages in your best good, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it because I want you to be happy. Earth Signs, if you appreciate this reading and it's helping you out, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're looking for a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. Hope to see you next week.